Hello and welcome to another Take 5. My name is John Recknagel, Precast Application Specialist. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing the DWG Use for Modeling tool, which will allow you to insert in a 2D AutoCAD file and convert those into actual native Tekla objects. So let's jump right into the model. All right, so basically what we have here is we have a 2D AutoCAD reference file in here, which is basically for a very intricate brick pattern here over an arch. You can see we've got lots of intricate details, differing size of bricks, angled soldier bricks on the top. So there's a very intricate brick pattern that would otherwise take quite some time to model each individual brick. But here with this tool, we can insert this in as a DWG. We can open up our components catalog here and type in DWG use for modeling. Double, double select on this tool to open it up. Single select on our AutoCAD reference model and say get model. And then Tecla, this, you know, Tecla's tool here will basically go through and scan all the different elements here and, and find all those polygon shapes. And then you can choose over here on the side what you want to generate from these shapes. So I just want a basic slab and I'm just gonna use, you know, a thin set brick, three eighths of an inch deep. And then basically what we can do here is we can just select any one of these hatches and then just press control A on your keyboard or or if you want to just grab and select on the few that you want to actually convert you can do that as well and then all you have to do is say create slash update and Tecla will go through and place your slab element with these parameters for each of these polygon shapes that it finds so you can see just like that if we turn off our reference models you can see we now have all these elements as native Tecla objects here. So this is um, this is a nice use case for maybe an intricate brick pattern. You could also use this for you know standard foundation elements, um, the foundations, columns, walls, slabs, things like that. Those tedious members that you don't necessarily want to model each individual one, you could just simply you know drop in that CAD file and convert them into native Tecla objects. And here you can see there's our three eighths depth and each of these is its own native Tecla object now. So now I could wrap this into a custom component um, and use it throughout my project, custom detail and so on. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you guys for watching.